Hey everyone, Robbie here. Doing a second review on my Maverick Sport. This is one wicked machine. I say, out of every machine I've ever owned, this is definitely the funnest. So, if you're considering something like this, uh, it's awesome. This is the Sport 1000R. <laughs> As you can see from my first video, I did say it'll never look the same. So. <laughs> we just got back from a 300 kilometer ride in Calabogie, Ontario. Pretty awesome ride. As you can see, uh, there was a little bit of mud there um, inside and out. So this thing handled amazing. I had it up over 80 miles an hour and in the air, maybe 24 inches. <laughs> uh, only things I can see so far that need to be fixed I'm going to bring it into the dealer for the first service. Uh, is right here, the brake cables. Uh, if you can see that. So the brake cables, there's a nut that goes here. Or a bolt that goes here. It's snapped off on both sides. So this one here, you can see right there. This is snapped off. But uh, that's been broken since about 300 kilometers. Uh, right now, I have a boat. Let's check it out. Right now we've got 1178 kilometers on it so far. Uh, what else? I've noticed the seat belts get caught in the door a lot. That's one thing. And uh, this door here, I've noticed it doesn't latch properly, but there's a couple bolts right in here. So I just need to adjust those, lift this up a little bit higher. I think it's come loose. Once I've done that, then this door will close properly. But for now, you can see it doesn't quite lock. There's an issue with it. So we'll get that fixed up. Uh, but overall, this machine is amazing. Uh, tire wear is very good, too. No issues there. The box is uh, it's come in handy. We've needed that strap a few times, too. But yeah, overall, I'll keep the review pretty short. Uh, if you have any questions about this machine, uh, feel free to ask them. It's pretty awesome. I gotta say, if you're looking for a side-by-side, -side, you want a two-seater, you want plenty of power, uh, it is awesome. Uh, one thing I really like, here's another thing actually, is the uh, eco mode. So whenever you're touring with some with other people, you know, and you're just putting behind, going up hills, stones, Eco mode is really nice. Um, most of the time we run this, well, I run this in sport mode, but if you are cruising with anybody else, you know, and just doing normal speeds, then eco mode is, is really nice. You don't feel too much, uh, um, as you're going over the bumpy stuff, you don't feel the pulsation of the throttle, let's say. Uh, it really just smoothens everything out. Where if you get in the sport mode, then... I mean, you have all that power on demand. So, uh, Again, if anybody has any questions about this thing or if you're considering buying one, uh, send me a message. I'll be happy to answer. All right, take care, guys.